Hey guys, this is Caitlin from Dogwood Designs. I'm going to start filming some videos that will help you learn hand lettering similar to what we do um, on our blog and what we sell on Etsy. Um, I, I learned from people that were willing to teach me, so I want to be able to teach y'all as well. Um, we're going to start off with some basics. Um, I'm just going to show you some essentials that, I, that you probably will need to start out with. Um, and then, of course, you can always advance further into what, you know, if, if you want to keep going or change colors or change pins or try new things, um, you're, you're more than welcome to try that. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the tools that you're going to use. Um, one of the first, actually the first thing that I purchased when I went to hand lettering is a um, Tombow dual brush pen. Um, you'll hear people talk about these pens constantly. They are a staple if you want to do any type of modern calligraphy or hand lettering um, right now. There, I'll say this was probably, this was my first purchase, but it was not, it shouldn't have been my first purchase. This one was a little more difficult to start out on. I, I bought it and I got a little frustrated because it was, I was not used to uh, you know the upward light strokes downward hard strokes which, that we'll get into but um, This is probably a good second pin for you to get um, But this is Probably one of the most popular and you'll see this talked about the most is the dual brush pen It has the fine tip pin the fine tip end That doesn't move at all. It's just a hard marker like and then you've also got the it's an actual if you can see that it's a actual brush almost, um, not a bristle brush, but a marker brush that um, that allows you to, you know, you can press down on and, and push down. Mine's a little worn because I have not purchased a new one since I started, so, um, but that's a, I've got a whole set of these in, in different colors. They make a thousands of colors for these, um, but it's a great, great pen. Um, actually, the pen that I would start out with is also a Tombow pen, and I cannot pronounce the pen other people can but I can't it starts with an F and I'll put the the link below um, or somewhere in this video I'll put the link to this pen that where you can purchase it they make a hard tip and a soft tip I use the soft tip um, this one this one should be your first pen if you're actually going to do a physical hand lettering on paper this one is should be the first one that you buy it's it just has the one end if you can see that and it's a soft and it's much easier to write with as you can see you know it's just a it's a finer line it doesn't produce as thick of a line as the as the brush pen does but it's it's definitely it's better for more modern uh, you know calligraphy and two it's you know let me show you on this like when you write an A you do your downward hard strokes and up strokes which you'll learn as I as I do videos um, you can go back and thicken these lines it's not you know if, if you don't push down hard enough or something you know you can always go back and do those and that's something that I'll teach you you know in, in future videos is um, you know how you can make it look like calligraphy even if you don't have one of these pens um, but like I said I'll put the link for this one um, there is a knockoff brand that um, Michaels has. It's called Artist Loft. I didn't have the white pen for this one, but I do have the blue pen. It's just like the dual brush pen. I don't know if it'll focus, but yeah, it's just like the dual brush pen. Um, it's been the closest dupe to the uh, Tombow dual brush pens, um, but this is a it's a watercolor. Let's see if I can show you this. It's a watercolor dual tip marker by Artist Loft. It's, uh, I mean, it's it's a really good pen. I mean, I I really like the colors. They're real easy to work with. Um, as you can see here, I don't feel as bad pushing on them because they're a lot cheaper than the Tombows. So, especially for practicing, these are good because they don't feel so bad for you know. You know, as you use them, obviously the tips are going to start to wear, and, and these don't, I don't, doesn't bother me as bad to mess those up. 
one of my favorite pens in the whole wide world is this Faber, and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right, so excuse me, Faber Castell Artist Pen. It's the, um, the letter M. It's a very, it's not a brush pen. It's not, I mean, it's, it's just a very thick pen, but I'm telling y'all, some of the prettiest stuff I've ever written has been written with this pen. It's smooth, it's easy to use, it doesn't run out of ink quick, it's, I mean, it's very, I love it, and it's, it's just a great pen, especially if you want to do details, you know, if you want to go through here and do some detail work here. It's just a really good pen. If you want a good starter, non-brush pen, that's a good one. The ink's really good. It's just good, high quality. You can get these at Michael's for fairly cheap, and if you don't, if you can't get them on sale, usually Michael's has a coupon, so, um, but yeah, that's, that's really a good pen. Another pen that took me a little while to get used to is the Prismacolor Premier pen. This is a dual tip pen as well. This one is a very heavy line. Um, you've got a, I mean, it's, it's a very thick brush, like a marker brush. You can get super thick lines with this one. I mean, gorgeous. It, it's really, really a pretty pen. If you want a really bold line, and once you get more advanced in your hand lettering, then this one will be a little bit easier to pick up and use. When I first bought this one, I used it and I was like, oh no, this is this is the worst pen ever. I'm just gonna just put it back in my little case and never use it again. And then I brought it out another time when I started doing like flowers and um, you know, little extra things to, to my to my work that I was using with the other pens and it started to flow a little bit easier and and then I started writing with it and sometimes you just need a bold pen and this is a really good bold pen but it's got that end and if you need to touch up or anything it's also got that fine tip like the dual brush pen the Tombow does um, it doesn't move or anything it's just a really good really good pen um, last but not least if you feel the need to spend a lot of money and invest in your hand lettering um, it's the Apple Pencil go ahead buy yourself an iPad Pro get the Apple Pencil I have the smaller iPad Pro it's 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 fine a lot of the hand letterers swear by the big one just go on and get the big one go on and get the big one if you want a big one go ahead but I I don't want something that bulky um, I have the first version of the iPad Pro which is what I'm filming with now so I, I can't show it to you but I will show you in future videos. Um, but it is, it has been literally, I, I probably haven't looked at my actual pens in months since, since I've gotten, I've had this about a month. I, I probably haven't looked at my regular pens since then. I, every night I'm, I'm on my iPad and it's, it's a great, the pencil, uh, the, the Apple pencil is pretty much a necessity. You can use the, Pro, the Procreate app is what we use. It's $5.99 in the App Store. It's worth the $5.99. I've literally, I mean, I'm telling y'all, I spend most of my time on this thing. Um, the Apple Pencil, though, it, it's, it's essential. Um, go on and get it. Once you get the iPad Pro, just go on and just suck it up and get it. Because you're going to need it to get those fine lines and then that, that brush stroke with your pen. You can't use, you can't do it with your finger. You can't use, I, I haven't, I didn't know if you could try it with a stylus. You probably can but this is, this is gold right here. So um, that's it with my pens. Now, when you're, when you're using papers, this is just plain old copy paper. You really want a good, smooth paper because the rougher the paper, the, the more it's gonna wear down your pens. Um, like my Tombow pen that I have so dearly messed up. But um, it is, if you pick out a, a smooth, even a copy paper is fine, but if you want a binder or something, um, try to go for the smoothest paper that's available. It's it's going to be your best bet. It's going to give you the best look. Um, if you want a more organic look to a finished product, then yeah, you can use a rougher paper. Um, but that's up to you. But just know that you're going to wear out those those you know the your pins, the tips of your pins, you're going to wear them out much 
more quickly than you would with a smoother paper and smooth paper looks good any any of these hand lettering things if you do them and you frame them they look great so um so you know it's it's your choice but i would say stick with a very smooth smooth paper um one of the books i when i first started hand lettering i i first found kelly creates kelly creates is on facebook she's on instagram she does a lot of videos her hand lettering is very clean it, it's not very ornate it's very simple and it's she's very good at it and i i cannot imitate her very well but she's she's a very she's very good at what she does and um another girl that i follow is dawn nicole she she i got a lot of my a lot of my worksheets from her um she sends out monthly or uh, really weekly emails with worksheets and you know free stuff and you can buy worksheets from these people and you know and print them off and and i recommend doing that you know support them because that's their livelihood but um <clears throat> i really like uh kelly creates and i really like don nicole and i'll um i'll link them in this video somewhere to show you their their uh, sites and their um like their instagram pages and whatnot but they're really good mentors to uh to follow and they're very they're very helpful um one thing I picked up a few months ago was this book. I've I've been looking at books to kind of, because you go on Amazon and you say, okay, hand lettering book or calligraphy book or whatever, and you get some that the reviews say, oh, well, there wasn't really any teaching. It was all, you know, lines for you to work on. And then there's some that were no lines and all this, and it was too basic for me. But I really wanted something that, that I could, you know, learn something a little different from because I had already learned how to do it. I just wanted to improve upon my the way I did things. Um, this book I picked up from Barnes and Noble. I actually saw it on the I like a little clearance bargain area. Calligraphy Made Easy by Ashley Gardner. Um, this is a really good book. I really like her style. Um, she's got a really pretty style. Um, she uses all kinds of different, you know, different things, but she shows you a lot of the anatomy of calligraphy, um, how to, you know, this kind of stuff, which I learned how to do before I got this book, but this, after reading these, these, it, it made it seem a lot, you know, made a lot more sense to me after I read all this. Um, but it's got a lot of areas that, you know, to teach you. She's got a lot of letters. She's got, I mean, it's just, it's really a great book. And she's even got, you know, little spots where you can imitate things or, you know, you can write your own. You're not, you don't have to follow what she does. You can do what you want to do on it. But it's a really pretty book. Um, it actually reads, it doesn't have a price on here, but I think we paid like $10 for it at Barnes & Noble. But it, like I said, it was on the bargain, um, bargain place. But this is a great book to start to if you want to if you take direction that way better um follow follow people on instagram i just started following people and then i got suggestions and i kept following different people following different people and you it's a big community everybody learns from each other and it's, it's great um but that's pretty much all you really need to start with um you know of course we'll talk about more of you know hand, what you need to do as far as hand lettering goes in a future video but I really wanted to give you the basics of the equipment that you were going to need. Um, you know, not really go into the the, the hand lettering just yet. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to start this, pick this up. This is the Tombow. Like I said, I'll link it down below. It starts with an F, Fundensuki or something like that. But um, but it's a great pen. So um, if you need just one pen, start with this one and plain on copy paper. And that's how I started. All right, well, thanks guys for watching, and if you like what you see, uh, subscribe to us. If you um, want to follow us on Facebook or Instagram, um, I'll link that down below. We also have an Etsy shop that's, uh, you know, available, and then we also just launched a website. So um, I'll link everything down below if you're interested. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.